Though they may seem rotund and cuddly, hippos are far from the adorable and docile creatures many children's cartoons paint them to be. In truth, they are among the most vicious and dangerous animals in the world, and should you encounter one, we implore you to be careful. And here's why. These are 20 Scary Facts About Hippos. Number 20. Bite Force of Hippos With their bite, hippos can generate about 8,100 newtons. They can also bite a crocodile in half if necessary as they have very strong bites. Hippos are one of the most vicious land animals when it comes to their bite. The largest male hippo ever captured, which weighed 4,500 kilograms, was kept in captivity in Germany. This enormous hippo was 4.9 meters. You can imagine how strong this hippo's bite would have been because the bite force of a hippo is dependent on its size. This is why you should never anger a hippo. Pygmy hippos are considerably smaller and have a weaker bite. The bite of pygmy hippos has not yet been specifically studied, yet they resemble regular hippos in many ways. Their bodies, skulls, and skeletons are similar. About one-fourth as big as normal hippos, pygmy hippos look like small elephants. Pygmy hippos are about the same size as other hippos, but their scales are very small. Hippos frequently charge other animals, or even people, since they are very unpredictable and violent. Even with its huge mouth, a hippo's bite force might be difficult to capture. Hippos are ferociously hostile and will charge at foes, immediately endangering anyone attempting to gauge their bite. Since male hippos are extremely hazardous and violent, no tests have been conducted on them. Zoologists employ a gadget on a stick to quantify the amount of force a hippo's bite exerts. Number 19. Bulletproof Hippos Hippos, which are also called hippopotamuses, are one of the largest animals that live on land. Hippos are big, strong animals that weigh about 1,497 kilograms on average and are about 4.7 meters long. All over its body, a hippopotamus's skin can be 0.051 meters thick, or about 2 inches. This thick hide serves a variety of functions, including shielding against the sun's glare and projectile impacts. Hippos cannot withstand gunfire. However, their skin is sufficiently thick to deflect gunshots. Hippos are practically bulletproof or impervious to bullets due to their thick skin and hefty build. However, a hippo can be slain by shooting him in the torso because the skin there is thin. Hippo hunters need a powerful double rifle, such as the 450 or 500 Nitro Express. Any component of their anatomy that isn't related to mating and seeing can survive normal gunshots. But hippopotamuses can't survive if the bullets are bigger than conventional ones. In another case, they won't live if you shoot them in the head or lower body with a heat gun. Do you agree with this? What do you think? Tell us in the comments. Remember to like this video and follow this channel. Number 18. How long can a hippo control his breath? In Africa, hippopotamuses live mostly in lakes and sluggish rivers. It's important to know that the moment a hippo leaves the water for too long, especially in the hot sun, its skin becomes dry. These are animals that can stay on land and in water. It's no news that they can even spend most of their time, about 18 hours per day, in the water. One of the reasons they come to land is to also eat grass, which they do at night. Hippos will then go back into the water when the sun is high in the sky the next day. A hippo's nostrils, ears, and eyes are situated on the top of its head, which helps it to be able to see, hear, and breathe while being in its aquatic habitat. The hippo's nose and ears close when it submerges entirely, but a membrane that serves as a built-in set of goggles to protect its eyes allows it to keep its eyes open. Hippos are comfortable in the water to the point where they can snooze there. They never wake up because of a reflex that drives them to the surface to breathe. However, when submerged, hippos have a special adaptation that turns off their lungs but keeps the blood oxygenated. Because of this, hippos can spend extended periods of time underwater without collapsing like people would. These lengthy, 
five-minute underwater stretches are times of rest for hippos as well. They don't move at all or very little, which reduces the amount of oxygen their body needs. Number 17. Sweating Blood Human perspiration, which is liquid and emerges from glands close to the surface of our skin, differs from that of a hippo. Hippo sweat, which is thicker than ours and explodes from those two-inch thick hides like magma, is more viscous. Additionally, it is scarlet in hue, giving the creatures an appealing shimmer in the sunlight. Even now, gullible naturalists occasionally confuse it for blood. In fact, the way that hippo sweat resembles blood has given rise to the bizarre myth that hippopotamuses intentionally hurt themselves while under distress. According to legend, hippos near the Nile River used to stab themselves on reeds to open veins and let blood flow out when they were too fat or felt unwell. Egypt's medical professionals came to the conclusion that there must be something to this technique and began recommending it to their human patients for whatever reason, perhaps because these hippos appeared to be healthier or more strong. This procedure, known as bloodletting, was passed down to Western culture and continued in conventional medicine up until the 1800s. It took seven years to develop a collection technique for hippo sweat that allowed scientists to keep the molecules long enough to identify their composition. This required sponging the brows of many hot, obstinate animals. The chemists eventually learned that hippo sweat initially appears as a transparent liquid. It only becomes red when exposed to air for a short period of time. They subsequently linked two molecules, happily called hipposudoric acid and norhipposudoric acid, to the color change. Three carbon rings make up each acid, and when they react with one another in the presence of air, they form long chains of colorful polymers. Number 16. Roar of a Hippo we could say hippopotamuses are somewhat used to living in water and they spend most of their time in it. They likewise communicate through nonverbal means, accounting for 80% of their communication. Hippopotamuses repeatedly make a variety of noises to communicate with one another, sound which includes chuffing, honking, and a low-pitched chuckling. Under some circumstances, it's possible that the noise that hippos and dolphins make has some specific similarities. People are curious about the sounds that hippopotamuses make while they are submerged in water because they are fascinated by them and their strange lifestyle. According to the results of several investigations, hippos are able to produce sounds that cover a wide distance of frequencies, from low rumbles to high-pitched squeals. These diverse cries have a number of purposes, including warning of danger, deterring potential enemies, and attracting prospective companions. Hippos can communicate with each other both above and below the water. Hippos use their nostrils to make sound when they're above the water and their jaw bones to make sound when they're below the water. And without a doubt, this distinguishing trait distinguishes these African mammals from other species. Hippos have a 115 decibel sound output. For comparison, a jet engine is anywhere from 120 to 140 decibels. When an animal is in must, a periodic condition marked by elevated testosterone levels and aggressive behavior, they frequently make these noises. Hippos may also grunt, screech, and even yell in addition to these other sounds. Number 15. Hippos Sleep Underwater Hippos are found in lakes and rivers in Africa because they are excellent swimmers and spend a lot of time in the water. Hippos have their eyes, ears, and nostrils located on the tops of their heads. This allows them to see, hear, and breathe while most of their body is underwater. Hippos have a special ability to breathe while they're sleeping without waking up. They can also sleep underwater. Hippos also have a set of built-in goggles. A transparent membrane shields their eyes for safety while preserving their ability to see underwater. Hippos can't swim. In fact, they can't even float, despite all these adaptations for living in the water. Because their bodies are far too heavy to float, they move by pushing off from the bottom of the river or by merely galloping slowly over the riverbed, their webbed toes barely touching the bottom like aquatic ballet dancers. 
hippos spend almost all of their daylight hours lazing around in shallow water. Hippos emerge from the lake in the evening after the scorching sun has set to graze all night long, which lasts for around six hours. Hippos typically consume only 40 kilograms of food per night, despite their tremendous weight. Number 14. Swishing Hippo Tail Hippos are fiercely protective of their territory, and they'll use their tails to mark it with a stench of urine and excrement. However, they also use their tails for another critical function. Hippos utilize their tails to help them rise to the water surface after they're born so they may take their first breath. Additionally, hippos interact non-verbally with one another using their tails. A tail raised high in the air, for instance, denotes hostility, but one held low to the ground denotes submission. Hippos do have tails, however, they're not particularly recognized for it. These tails are short. They usually only reach a length of about 22 inches. They tend to be practically hairless and rather flat as well. The hippo's body and tail have the same color. The hippopotamus has a fascinating tail. The hippo uses its tail mainly for excreting waste, which is different from other animals that use their tails for balance or communication. <laughs> Hippopotamuses frequently relieve themselves in the water, which can be disastrous for the surrounding ecosystem. Hippo feces disintegrates near the river's bottom, where they send dangerous bacteria into the water. Fish and other aquatic life cannot live in the water because of the bacteria's rapid oxygen depletion. The hippo's tail, however, plays a crucial role in the process. Number 13. Pygmy Hippo the lowland primary and secondary forests along rivers, streams, and marshes are home to the nocturnal, solitary pygmy hippopotamus. It feeds on dry land and wetland vegetation. Unlike hippos, who love to graze, it spends much of its day submerged in water and feeds at night on roots, water plants, and falling fruit. Unlike its bigger relatives, this species has feet that are more suitable for living on land rather than in water. Pygmy hippos can reproduce both in water and on land. The pygmy hippopotamus lives in the Guinean forests of West Africa. It previously existed in so many other locations, but due to extinction, it only inhabits seven small areas in Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Côte d'Ivoire. It was calculated that about 75% of the places where it used to live have been been lost. The present estimation is that just 2,000 of these animals are left because of loss and separation from their natural habitats over the past 30 years. The survival of this species was in danger because of the loss of their natural habitat and certain modifications made to their land and frequent hunting. Due to their complicated nature in the environment, pygmy hippos are rarely seen by locals, and few people actually get to see them. Installing video traps in the forest where the pygmy hippo takes refuge is the best technique to watch and study it. The species, which is part of West African folklore, is revered for its spiritual and aesthetic qualities. Number 12. Hippo's Calf Suckle Underwater Hippo calves consume their mother's milk for the first year of their lives, despite the fact that hippos do not consume meat as part of their diet. Hippos are vegetarians. Newborns stay close to their mothers and depend on them for food until they are capable of surviving on their own in their natural habitat. Even when they are young, they can be observed riding on their mother's backs. this behavior has been observed. It's intriguing to discover that hippopotamus babies can be breastfed and cared for both in the water and on land because of how their bodies mature. They even close their eyes and noses for minutes so that the calf doesn't consume water while it's breastfeeding. Now, despite popular assumptions, hippo milk is not pink. The color of their milk is similar to that of the milk produced by the vast majority of other animals. It's midway between white and yellow. Number 11. How Fast a Hippo Can Run Hippos are amazing animals. They're either a cow, a whale, or both. Hippos are highly athletic, despite their bulky looks. Due to the way their features appear to be rounded, they seem to have a reputation for being adorable and effervescent. However, anyone who believes that would be mistaken, especially if they were being pursued at an unexpectedly high speed. 
Hippos look like they move slowly and are fat, but they actually move quickly and are fat. Hippos weigh an average of 1,587.573 kilograms and are one of the biggest animals on Earth. In fact, elephants are the only land animals that are bigger than them. So how quickly can hippos move? Hippos can reach speeds of 67.11 meters per second on average. Nevertheless, they are still capable of moving quickly when necessary. Get him. Grab my chin. I Hippopotamuses typically come to the shore at night to feed. They graze for about five to six hours each day, mostly at night when the sun's down and the conditions are more tolerable. In their search for grass, they have a range of up to 3,219 meters and frequently venture far from the water, where they feel most at home. Hippos are frequently observed trotting or cantering like horses when moving across the land. Number 10. Yawning of Hippo even a hippo's cry, which has been compared to a deep, ominous chuckle, serves as a warning. Hippo conversations can be heard far away from one pod to another in a chain. Among other things, their honks, groans, and roars proclaim dominance and stake out their territory. Some hippo sounds are so loud that they can be heard by people, whereas others are entirely inaudible. They use infrasound, which operates at very low frequencies, for some of their communication. These sounds are the threshold of human hearing because they're so deep. With long, vicious teeth that can reach half a meter in length, the hippo is one of Africa's most lethal creatures, despite its comical appearance. A hippopotamus's mouth can open to 82.22 degrees. The mouth of the hippo allows females to select their mate. Wider male hippo mouths are more attractive to females because they show a higher ability to protect the territory and the offspring. Number 9. Hippopotamus Teeth a hippopotamus's teeth typically consist of two incisors, one canine, three to four premolars, and three molars in each quadrant, for a total of 36 teeth. Although some hippos keep their baby teeth after their adult teeth have come in, the temporary teeth can remain in place for a long time. Since hippos are mostly herbivores, their oral structure is crucial to their survival. Their powerful canines and massive incisors are essential for biting and cutting thick plants. The molars are utilized for crushing food in the interim. They use their teeth as weapons in addition to being essential for their nutrition. The 0.5 meter long canine fangs are utilized for defending against rivals and predators. The mouth of a hippopotamus may be its most lethal tool. These enormous creatures have two sets of teeth, each with a distinct function. For crushing and pulverizing plant matter, the first set of teeth, a set of flat molars, is used. These teeth are put to a lot of use. Considering that a hippopotamus may consume up to 22.7 kilograms of vegetation in a single day. The long canines on the second set of teeth are not at all useful for chewing food. The term cheek teeth is also used to describe these teeth. There's no need for sharp carnivorous teeth when one only eats plants. On the other hand, these foot-long tusks are used as tools, both to fight other hippos and to keep predators away. The top incisors and lower canines of the hippo can be seen through its huge tusks, which can be up to a meter long. Hippos use grinding to maintain the health of their razor-sharp teeth. Number 8. How does a hippo torpedo through the water? Hippopotamuses are land animals that spend most of their time near small rivers and lakes eating plants, fruits, and berries. Hippos can run the distance of 48 kilometers an hour on land, but they even move faster in the water. The main reason hippos stay inside water is to safeguard their sensitive skin from the sun's rays. It can be extremely uncomfortable when the atmosphere is hot in Africa. If you've been there, you know how intense the sun's heat can be. For the fact that hippos don't have hair or fur and are big, their skin gets affected by the sun more than most African animals, which is why they manage being in the water and on land. If you've ever had the thought of the reason hippos don't have fur, it's solely due to the fact that they don't need it to stay warm underwater. 
This makes moving around in the water more convenient and aids in keeping predators and hunters at bay. In the water, hippos can move quite quickly while consuming only 25% of the energy required on land. While most animals can swim, hippopotamuses can only move forward through propulsion off the lake floor. Hippos can move quickly underwater by doing this, and they frequently surprise an unaware kayak or boat. Hippos like to move around in shallower bodies of water where they can navigate the mud, yet in times of need, they are capable of moving quickly. Number 7. Weight of a Hippo Hippos are hardly slouches when it comes to size. They weigh a massive 997.90 to 4490.56 kilograms. So they're right at the top with Asian elephants, which are at 8,150 kilograms, and African elephants that weigh up to 12,000 kilograms, as they even bear the title of world's heaviest land animal. Hippos are on the list of biggest animals on Earth, but when they're born, they're always extremely small. The normal weight of a baby hippopotamus is 22.7 kilograms, which is just a tip of how much it'll weigh as an adult. Hippos are also able to gain up to 0.454 kilograms a day for the first six months of their lives. They keep growing until they reach adulthood, which for females can take up to 25 years. Men and women reach adulthood at different times, but they both keep growing as they age. A hippo's pregnancy lasts 240 days, which is the same as a human's. As a result, young hippos share many characteristics with newborn humans, such as size and reliance on breast milk for nutrition. Hippos, however, are weaned from milk after 18 months and start eating just vegetation, unlike humans. They don't weigh the same. Male and female hippos grow at different weights. The average weight of a female hippo is 1,496.9 kilograms, which is less than that of male hippos. They stay with their mother until they are 8 years old, which at that point they are then considered adults. They are also fully grown by the time they clock 25, as this age is the end of their growth. Adult male hippos can weigh up to 3,175 kilograms, making them much bigger than their female counterparts. Males continue to grow throughout their lives, while girls often reach their maximum size around the age of 25. Different mating behaviors are assumed to be the cause of this size discrepancy. Number 6. Hippos are Endangered Animals Hippos would most likely join the list of species that are most likely to go extinct due to the climate disaster and the ivory trade, which continues to cause their populations to constantly reduce. There are between 115,000 and 130,000 of these semi-aquatic mammals in the lakes and rivers of sub-Saharan Africa. They are also being compelled by the destruction, loss of their environment, and ivory, which can also be found in elephants' teeth. On the IUCN Red List, hippos were categorized as vulnerable to extinction in 2016. Local reduction occurs quite often in West Africa, breeding concerns for the future of the species in specific places in 38 nations in Africa where it's found. Hippos are one of the largest land animals in the world. Males are said to weigh up to 1,800 kilograms and are often sighted in large groups. For the fact that females don't become sexually mature until 9 or 10 years old and their pregnancies last for exactly 8 months, these animals are prone to being used quite often. Number 5. Protective Mother Hippo a mother hippo is fiercely protective of her young and will hold off introducing them to the herd for a few days. Her child will nurse underwater and relax and sleep on her back as she wades, spending their time together in the water. She won't go out to graze for a few days until the infant is ready to go with her. While going to eat, some hippo mothers leave their young alone in the water but swiftly come back. The hippopotamus can give birth on land or in small bodies of water. The mother gives birth to a single calf wherever she wants. Adults can hold their breath underwater for about five minutes. It's also important to know that if a baby is born underwater, the mother must take the baby out within 40 seconds for their first breath. After giving birth to the baby, the mother stays away from the group and spends time with the calf for a period of two weeks or some days to take care of the calf and create a mother-child connection with them until she is confident that he or she can rejoin the group without being exposed to any form of danger. 
Number 4. Amount of Water Hippos Drink Hippos are plant eaters and primarily eat grass. They're also capable of eating up to 39.9 kilograms of grass in a day. Hippos are always thirsty and can drink about 56 gallons of water a day to keep themselves hydrated. Hippos are animals that are mostly active at night and at that time they can eat for about 4 to 5 hours. They have sensitive skin that reacts to the sun, so they prefer to stay in the water to keep cool during the day. Hippos are plant eaters as they eat grass and several types of plants. Male hippopotamuses can weigh as much as 3 small cars put together. These huge animals can weigh up to 2,721.55 kilograms, which makes them one of the heaviest land animals on Earth. Hippos are fast and agile in water, which is where they spend most of their time, despite their large size. Number 3. Hippos' Role in Maintaining Ecosystems The diet and waste of hippos have a direct effect on the environments in which they dwell. When they defecate in the water, it alters the nutrient concentration, and when animals eat grass, it can have an impact on the growth of the plant. The Basel Zoo's Africa exhibit has been open for 30 years. During this time, researchers have studied the behavior of hippos. Groups of hippos gather on the banks of rivers and other bodies of water in the southern part of the African continent. They spend their days underwater in an environment where the temperature and UV rays are controlled. In very severe situations, only the upper part of their heads, which includes their eyes, ears, and noses, can be seen. Nighttime is when hippos venture out onto land to forage for food. Grass, which they rip with their lips, is their primary food source. Hippos, even adults, may consume 40 kilograms of grass per day. This means that the number of feces they produce and the effect the animals have on the environment are both quite high. Plants in feeding regions become stronger and leafier as a result of heavy grazing. Hippos profit from this because their diet consists primarily of leaves rather than the less nutritious stalks. The grass was shorter and less densely flowering, whereas hippos weren't keeping an eye on things. Number 2. How Dangerous Are Hippos to Humans? Hippopotamuses are among the most lethal creatures on the planet. When provoked, they can become highly hostile towards people. They may be enormous, yet they can travel as fast as 32,186.9 meters per hour. In addition, they have two enormous tusks that can grow as long as a foot in the back of their mouth. They are one hazardous beast, what well, with their size, speed, aggression, and long teeth. If you avoid traveling to African countries that have them, you should be okay in the near future. If you have plans to go somewhere soon, you should avoid places where hippos gather. Hippos will yawn aggressively if they feel threatened, so don't get too close if you see one. Males are more likely to be hostile towards travelers during the mating season. Last but not least, steer clear of veal. To safeguard their children, a mother will resort to murder. Number 1. Hippo Fight In general, hippos are docile species. They'd rather escape than put up a fight. Few animals would dare fight one of these behemoths due to their massive size and formidable set of teeth. Conflicts between hippos occur primarily between individual hippos. Battles for dominance between male hippos are common, or they may contend for control of a body of water or a mud hole. A fight between two hippos is a test of strength and size. The majority of hippo battles occur underwater. The combatants circle backwards, moving parallel to one another. They then slam their open mouths together, using their enormous skulls as sledgehammers. Hippo lips are among the most expansive of any animal. Hippos open their jaws wide to make noise and scare away predators. The average hippo fight lasts up to two hours, with only brief breaks in between. Eight hours was the length of the longest recorded hippo fight. Hippos use their extremely sharp teeth as weapons during battle. As they move quickly towards each other, they produce different sounds, such as grunts, growls, snorts, bellows, and roars. What do you think of hippos? Is there something you think we should have added? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to follow this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to show this video to anyone you think might like it.